EJ, do you know how much we are talking about here? And can that be compared to the life of the princess? Onyeze, what are we going to do now? Because delay is dangerous, they say. We need to do something fast. Where he is dropping on the king and his elders like that. And what sort of question is that? I've always been suspecting ever since you came back to this palace, running without the princess. Now I think my suspicions are about to be justified. What are you talking about? What rubbish are you talking about? What do you know about this game? Are you mad? Are you going crazy? Is there something wrong with you? What are you calling a game? Look, if you don't tell me your interest in this matter, I will go straight to the king and I will tell him what I will tell him what I caught you doing. Oh, to please, do. Benson, just get lost. Just get lost. Ah, you can go in there and tell the king what you saw. What did you even see? Nothing. <sighs> Listen, I am Princess Helen's personal maid. Okay, I'm the closest to her, and her kidnap just worries me. I'm, I'm just worried. I want to know whether the king is making the right decision or not. Oh, really? And what if he's not? What can you do? What can I do? Nothing. But honestly, I am worried. I don't want anything to happen to Princess Harley. Mm. Listen, everyone in this palace shares the same feelings. I suggest you be very, very careful before you land yourself into trouble. Be very, very careful. I've heard you. Mr. Advisor. Mr. Advisor, I've heard you. Thank you for your suggestion. Is planning to do? Did he not say anything about saving me? You know your father, he hardly disposes his plans to anyone. Okay. I'll keep you posted, okay? Just be safe, okay? I was expecting that by now he would have paid up and not for him to consider going to the police. It's not easy as you think. It doesn't work that way. Huh? Moreover, I've not told him where and how to pay the money. My point exactly. If indeed he loves me and cares about me, he ought to have rallied round and raised this money and, and, and asked you where do you want the money? When do you want it and how do you want it? And not for him to seriously be thinking of calling the police. You know, for someone whose only daughter's life is in danger, one would think that he would want to hasten up. Calm down. Call him again. Warn him sternly this time. Remind him of the danger that is looming if he doesn't act fast. Father, if Nigerian kidnappers have advanced to calling their victims' families with satellite phones, then we have a big problem in that country. Forget the police because sincerely, they cannot trace that criminal. Yes, I know, son. I know that the police is helpless. But this is a criminal matter and it must be reported to the police and risk the life of the princess? Come on, father, don't tell me that. Her life is more precious than anything. I know, son, I know, I know. But the money they are asking for is too much. Dad, I agree completely, father. But that cannot be compared to what those criminals could do to the princess. Please, father, we need to do as they said. When she is free, 
then we can tighten up security. Let me know how much you have. I can borrow money from here to make it up further. It's alright, I've heard you. You will hear from me shortly. Okay, alright. He said he would send some money. But how can we just give out that kind of money to criminals? Your Majesty, you have to think of the princess's safety too. I mean, we don't even know what she's going through in the hands of those criminals right now. I have every right to suspect you. I just hope my suspicions are wrong. And I just told you I did not do it. Patricia, I know you. I know what you can do. Come to think of it, you hardly come home these days. It's true I had plans to deal with that baby girl. But believe me when I said I have nothing to do with this. Can't you see she's a very spoiled girl? I am certain what she did to me, she already did to someone else. I just hope that you are as innocent as you claim to be. Allow your girl is innocent. But that doesn't mean forgiving that baby girl. Oh go. She just opened my palms and took the man I love. Do you even know Chimobi avoids me lately? What are you saying? No, tell me. Do you still go looking for him? Have I not told you to just forget about him just like that? No oh, now. Nah. I've been going to check on him secretly. But he has not been seen anywhere close to his house lately. Maybe the kidnap of this woman has scared him away. I go, please. Stop calling her his woman. For he has just one woman. Me. Moreover, the Chimobi I know cannot be scared by anything. Except the baby of a princess has also turned him into a male baby. Patricia, you have to get yourself another man. Both of you are not in the same level. I am one of you. I can swear to you that I have not, I have not contacted the police. Please, I need you to understand this. I love my daughter more than any amount of money. Please, I, I want you to give me until tomorrow. Tomorrow, a select trusted elders will bring the money to you at the spot you described please do this for me please don't harm my daughter i beg you i beg you please I know it's late, but I had to come because it's important. Then you should have called me on the phone. Everything mustn't be discussed on the phone. See, I'm just coming back from my friend's house, Ndidi. She told me that the princess will be coming back tomorrow. Are you trying to say that the princess is going to be released by her kidnappers tomorrow? Exactly. And that's the reason I said I must see you tonight. Like I said earlier, everything mustn't be discussed on the phone. Come on. Bond, Bond, this is not the time to get in. Look, Bond, you are the master planner here. I think you should call your guys and fix something before morning. A scene? Yes. So what would I be doing with a scene? It's a new SIM fraudulently acquired for the mission. It's not registered in any name, but it works. 
What's funny? A local girl I fell in love the way she is. Honestly, I love you the way you are. I beg your pardon? Why are you calling me a local girl? No, 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 sorry. I mean no disrespect. Listen, my love. Kidnappers do not make calls with mere digital phones. They call with satellite phones that cannot be traced. So, so, what are you trying to say? That you're not going to do this for us? My love, my name is Mr. Bond. I will make the necessary calls, but certainly not with this your fraudulently acquired scene. Go home and allow Mr. Bond to bomb the deal. The place they say we should wait. Well, they say they will call us. Just calm down. They will call us. Let's wait. Yes, hello. This is on we are the place where you instructed. Yes. Are you sure you're with the money? Yes, yes. Hundred million naira in cash. Yes, we are with the equivalent in dollars. Five hundred thousand dollars, sir. Nice. Now, move to the road. That turns left ahead of you. You will see the signpost. Drop the money there and return to the car. You will see the princess after my guy picks the money. He is there already waiting for you. In fact, let me break it down. They are looking at you as you make this call. No problem. We are not going to going contrary to your instructions, sir. Please do not harm the princess. Just do as you're told. Dismantle any security arrangements you already have in place to arrest my guy that is coming to pick the money. Once you arrest him, or if he calls to say he is suspecting any trail, I will rape the princess and then I will kill her. Ah, sir, we understand, sir. We understand all your instructions. We understand what's happening. The life of the princess is at stake. Please, we understand. No security arrangement in place, sir. Okay, then. The ball is in your court. What? What is it? Huh? They say we should come down. Come down. Okay. Move on. Move on. Move. Foolish this whole thing. What is foolish about this? As far as I'm concerned, my mission just got accomplished. So now what next? I am not going to touch that money for you know they are mad. Oh please, baby, that's not the point. The point is that now I am more than certain that my daddy loves me. He loves me so much he can do anything. Look at that! What I told you from the first day that your father loves you. I am not happy you lured me into this. Oh, come on. They are waiting for you inside that car. Uh -huh. What happens to the money? The money is yours. Come on, don't, don't give me that crap. I am not a money bag on my joint. But I don't need that kind of money. Hmm. That's all right. Listen to me. Calm down. Now. No harm done yet. Okay? If you don't want the money, I'll simply take it back to my daddy. I'll tell him the story. He'll have a good laugh about it. But best believe, I won't mention your name. That is wonderful news, Father. What of the princess? Is she home now? No. Um, she's not yet here. Have you spoken to her? Is she okay? No, I have not spoken uh, to her yet. But I'm sure they're on their way home. Please let me know when she arrives, Father. Okay, son. I will. Thank you, son. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are indeed a blessing to this family and the entire Omokbalanre land. Thank you, Father. I will call you back.
was as good as being home all of a sudden you know from nowhere they just swooped on us and then recaptured her we, we, we don't know i'm confused what happened oh no you're my oh no right what happened i mean what did the princess say is the reason why she had the ransom money <sighs> She said that they said they didn't need the money again. That she will explain to you in detail. We should take her home. I'm surprised that they came for her again. So shocked. I'm going crazy here. I said I'm going nuts. What is happening in my kingdom? What is happening? You are making me mad. I don't understand you. What is happening? No, no, who? It's jail. What is it? Your Majesty, I wish to suggest something. Let us involve the Susaya in this. Oh no! We arranged the money they wanted. And they released my daughter. How can you suggest a thing like that? Then, 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 then where is the princess now, if I may ask? Mm -hmm. Huh? They allowed her to get close to the palace and then we captured her again hi the land of Umo Palanri has indeed deteriorated something is really wrong somewhere and we have to fix it soon before it gets totally unmanageable and the process of healing starts with engaging a competent soothsayer to tell us what is happening Tell me why you're calling me. Sincerely, my love, what I want to discuss with you is, is very serious and heavy. It cannot just be exhausted in just one sentence. For old time's sake, Chimobi, grant me audience. Give you audience where? Eh? See, Patricia, what I'm trying to tell you now is that for some time now, things have been rough for me. And, uh... and that is because you have been avoiding me. You allowed that intruder to cut the bond we needed. Hey, Patricia, stop this nonsense now. And do me a favor. Please don't call my line again. Do you understand? Okay, sir. But you have to do me a favor too. Allow me to see you at your place today. And we can start setting the record straight. Please. is becoming impossible to me. You mean they abandoned the girl and did not touch the money? That is why I am here. They abandoned the girl. They also abandoned $500,000 cash that I had in a Ghana must go in the trunk of the car. I don't know what they want again. You see, officer, I am sure they are after my daughter's life. 
I, I don't understand. Yes. Why has it made it long? It is well with you, my son. Yes. Who is it that greets the king? My identity is of no importance. But my interest to you to know that I have a precious jewel here with me. Who are you? You have my daughter with you. I don't understand. I have done all that you asked me to do. And then you seized her again. I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. Because I'm yet to tell you my pride. But first, speak to your daughter. Daddy? Dad? Daddy, they're about to kill me. Princess, calm down. My jewel, calm down, calm down, calm down. I will do whatever to get you out. Please, calm down. You will adhere to my instruction and nobody will be hurt. Become too intelligent and get the police to trace where I am calling from. They will come here and arrest me and my boys will kill the princess immediately after. Listen, King, your daughter has been transferred to an underground facility. She will remain there until you play the choice is yours. Listen, you are confusing me now. You are confusing me now because I don't know what you want. I, 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 you abandoned my car. You also abandoned the $500,000. I'm sure, I'm certain you saw at the trunk of the car. So, I don't know what you want again. The first kidnap was not a real kidnap. Your daughter merely planned with some people to convince herself that you love her. You pay the ransom and they release her with the money. For the money was never the target. I am a re kidnapper and I will never touch your marked money. You mean my daughter planned her own kidnap? The first one. Yes, but this one, she has no hand in this. And we are determined. You may get Bonigny, her maid, to explain what she knows about the former. This is beyond her. Ponder on these things I said. I will get back to you. I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. I'm so sorry. I could not disobey the princess. And she was worried that you didn't love her like before. I was only trying to help in the little way I could. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Who else is involved in this? <laughs> Speak up immediately. Uh, Mr. French. <laughs> Mr. French, Mr. Helen's friend, he knew about it. He planned everything with that. Young woman, do you realize what you have done? Hi. Sorry. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. But I think that this is, this is another test. of my love for the princess. I don't think so, Onyeze. I believe she must have been in great danger. That was why she opened up to the criminals that uh, called you. Huh? You don't have to be involved. I am here absolving you. I will consult a soothsayer to explain this. Oh no. Don't mention my name or the name of any member of this royal household before any seer or soothsayer. Is that understood? Uh, yes. 
that I will not mention anybody's name again. I know see as that see. They will not allow me to say what even before telling me what the problem is. And I forbid you. I said I forbid you. This is my problem. And I will solve it. Good afternoon, officers. We are here for one Chimobi, also known as Mr. French. Is anything the matter? Are you the one? Yes, I am the one. You are under arrest for the kidnapping. What? Uh, um, yes, the princess is. Back. Did you have the right to uh, Officer, I am innocent. The princess only sought for help. I helped her as a friend. I think there's something well going on here. The girl in question was kidnapped again and you are to answer for it at the station. Officer! No, Officer C, I am innocent. Move. Move. Give the other Move. Tell me what you know and save yourself of what is coming. If you continue to lie to me, I will kill you in custody. And I'm telling you nothing will happen. Nothing! I've told you everything. I swear. I have no hands in this. I'm telling you the truth. You have no hand in this. But you did in the first, right? Everything happened exactly the way I told you. I was only trying to help her. I didn't mean to kidnap her. It was all her plan. Officer, I'm not into crime. She even told me to take all the money. I said no. If I were to be a kidnapper, why wouldn't I take all the money? anything like that. Why would policemen come looking for me? According to them, Mr. French testified that you had a fight with the princess. That you once threatened that she would be kidnapped again. My dear, you are their number one suspect. What kind of wala is this now, eh? What am I going to do? I've been hiding in this bush all day. You must not come back here during the day. I suggest you come at night. Would you even believe me? I did not do it. I am innocent. Of course. I don't even understand why the police is after you. The kidnappers are demanding that Ezebube steps down and allow the implementation of succession agreement of 1980. So, so what's, my, what's my business with affairs of royalty and who emerges as the king? Eh? Uh, hello? Hello?
this is unbelievable. How could they ask for such? Huh? Who are these people to question how we handled the succession agreement of 1980? The same question I have been asking myself since they called. Who are they? Obviously, they are more than just kidnappers. Of course you are right. As normal kidnappers, we, we demand monetary ransom, but this one, just imagine them asking our king to step down and allow the full implementation of the succession agreement of 1980. That can never happen. But by the way, who are they to meddle in our kingdom politics? Eh? <clears throat> Someone from Umuapalangri is behind this. But who? No, no, no. Do not panic. Hmm? Nothing will happen. They are only empty drums. They will only try. They have my daughter. Your Highness, I hope you are not thinking of doing their bidding. Please, it must not happen. You threaten to kill her. Eh, never! They can never do that. They themselves know that they can never do that. They can't. So what do I do? Time. Give them time. They will get tired and release our princess. You cannot think of that, my lord. You can't do that. You, you just cannot give up the throne. Anything. Anything for my daughter. Is there no other way? There's no other way. That is the only thing they want. They don't want anything else. Listen. I have even offered them one million dollars. Your Majesty, I think it's time to make some arrests. Yes. You need to arrest these people that are calling for this rotational rubbish. These culprits live amongst the people. Yes. Do you understand? Do you fully understand what is at stake here? My daughter's life is in the hands of those who can take it at will. And here you are asking me to make arrests Yes, Your Majesty. Arrest these people. If you arrest them, they will tell us where their members are. The princess will be rescued and the throne will be retained. Yes. I've always taken your cancer. But this one, I am sorry. No. I will not heed to it. Listen, my queen. It will only complicate issues. This problem has only one solution. Only one solution. And that is to give up the throne? as a direct implementation of the succession agreements? Rubbish! I will not stand for this. No!
the queen was right. I am in support of what she said. Oh no. What are you talking about? What is it strong compared to my daughter's life? I thought both of us wanted this throne very badly. Yes. Yes, we did. But not at the expense of my daughter's life. <laughs> we have lost a lot in the process of trying to keep this throne. How could you give it all up without even as little as putting up a fight? Oh no, what are you fighting? For all I care, the kidnappers might be the entire Omoapalangri. Yes! So what are you fighting? Can't you see it's all over? It's over! This is not you. This is not the Ezebube, the second I used to know. The one that played everybody, even the professors of this land, and sat on the succession agreement for years. Ah, this kingdom and the throne are yours, Toki. Don't let this little temptation shake you. We are all solidly behind you. Sorry, Dad. This is not going to happen. How could you even think of giving up the throne? I have been trying to talk to Onyeze, but he would not listen to me. Look, son, your only sister's life is in danger, and I don't want anything to happen to her. Dad, I understand matter the demands of those criminal. This is a pure case of a kidnap and the police must be fully involved. That we have a monopoly of instruments of violence and we can contain all the enemies of the throne. Son, your sister's life is in danger. The throne can go. Let it go. I, I, I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm not even sure that the gods have their hand in all this. Forget about the gods. This is a pure case of a kidnap and it should be treated as such. No, 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 that tell me. What do you call the gods? Who are the gods? Is it those red and white clothes tied on the Iroku trees? Is that what you call the gods? That the world has evolved beyond pagan beliefs and practices and we have to evolve with it. Ah! Don't speak like that, Prince. We believe in oh, the gods. You, and... you do? Then tell me, if you believe in them, why didn't you listen to the chief priest when they decreed that my dad is not going to attend the throne after the death of my grandfather? So tell me, if they leave, how come they have not done anything to him since he became the king? So, Dad. I am still the king. I'm still your father. I forbid you. I forbid you not to speak in that direction. I am the king and I know Dad, what to do. Dad, this does not only involve you. I am also consigned. I am going to take over after you reign. And then, will you just allow all our fight to end in a shameful defeat? Come on, Dad. Come on. So, 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 so what do you want us to do? Just what do you want us to do? My daughter's life is in danger and I don't want anything to happen to her. Fine, uh, Dad. Dad, we are going to involve the police. Nothing is going to happen to my sister. You know we haven't really talked since the kidnap of the princess. What is happening? 
What is your father and the king doing about it? My dear friend, the palace is on fire. According to my father, the king is willing to do the demands of the kidnappers. But the others in council and the queen don't want to hear of that. The return of the prince has even made things harder for Onyeze. He has sworn never to let his father succumb to the demands of the kidnappers. I even heard he's working directly with the commission of police. You're not serious. I am. How, how could he be playing politics when an innocent girl is in the hands of unknown people? I don't know. I simply do not know. I know the princess is rude and annoying sometimes, but she doesn't deserve to suffer like this. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We will see if he loves the throne more than he loves the princess. I don't even know why they decided to sit on the session of our agreements. Your father is in a better position to answer this question. Because they've been the ones encouraging the king. Possibly because they're making money out of him. All I know is that God, God is alive. I'm so surprised at you. You just abandoned the matter at hand and decided to pick on my family directly. Why? The truth is bitter, isn't it? Anyway, how, how is Cheta, your brother? I told you when the beast in me will be left loose in Mobile that they will not understand the activities of the beast. I am involved in this already, and I will see the end of it. You are not getting this. They've involved the police. So what? I should cut the crap while the idiot still sits as a king in the direct volition of the succession agreement of 1980? Hell no. Sweetie, you don't know me very well then. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do if he fails to step down as requested? Kill the princess. I shall know you will never do a thing like that. Go ahead. Go ahead and preach to me, my love. I hate it when people preach to me. My love, I am not preaching to you. It's called common sense. Fine. Maybe I was wrong to have come up with the stupid idea of mine in the first place. What are we really demanding for? That the king should step down? If he steps down, then who takes over? I don't care. I don't bloody care who takes over. That is not my headache. And I don't want to think about it either. All I want is that that useless king who has sit on that throne, feeding on the wealth of this throne, should step down. That is what I want. I am scared. If what then happens to our safety? Have you thought of what they would do to us if they find us here? Let me ask you something, sweetheart. Where is that girl that came to me telling me how her family's right was being infringed by the king? Where is that girl that was willing to do anything to ensure justice prevails? Where is a smart and brave girl? Why do I suddenly feel a chicken around me? I'm scared. I'm just, I'm just scared. Listen to me. Listen to me, my love. I know we went against the law by kidnapping the princess. But I know we're fighting for the right cause. We had the plan. And we still have a plan. My name is Bon. The one they weren't able to arrest in Joss. They cannot arrest me in my father's land. It... It appears as if we've lost it. That has always been the fate of my family. We are always losing. love. 
fights are not always won by the strength of men. Especially fights like this. Don't see yourself. Don't see your family. Don't even recall your history. See Mr. Bone. I have never lost in a fight. And Shaw will never lose on this. <laughs> you see, different people have different impressions about this kidnap of a thing. But sincerely, I like it. Huh? Uh-huh. You are not serious, are you? An innocent girl has been kidnapped and you said you like it? <laughs> what is happening has vindicated the chief priest. They were his words and I am happy. And which of his words? That in soon you will rise from this land and fight for his people concerning the refusal of Omeka Naya's family to implement the succession agreement of 1980. And that he shall be remembered as a royal terminator. Did he say that? But I didn't hear him say it like that. He said it. I heard it myself. And I have been waiting for when it will happen. You know, I I was wondering why, why like he is the eyes of the gods and the mouth of the people. Yeah. And why he would just just keep quiet and allow things like this to, to happen? My dear. He gave the king and the elders his decree, but they did not listen to him. He left them with the prophecy that a son shall rise to fight for his people. Yet, nothing happened. But I am sure that a lot of people have forgotten his way. The princess was reported to have been kidnapped by a gang that we are armed with sophisticated guns and they were shooting into the air. Uh, but the chief priest said it's a son. So, uh, she's not kidnapped <laughs> by just one man. My dear, it is possible they were sent by the son and the son could be their leader. You never can tell, my dear. How can they just wake up and start arresting people without any proof? That is not done. That will not happen. Yes, your family and that of Ulisaike sent a petition to the palace and after a while this started happening. But that is not enough proof that their families are involved. Hasn't. You see, my concern is to know who this person is or person is. Because, you see, all the agitators have denied having hands in the kidnap. And the people who are supposed to benefit from the demand seems not to know who the kidnapper is. I mean, this is so confusing and so disturbing. Yes, it is quite disturbing because even those that had this case on their heads swore to the fact that the thought of kidnapping the princess never crossed their minds. Talk more of executing it. Whoever the person is, they must have the interest of this kingdom at heart. And I wish to know he or her. Yes. How do you mean her? It can never be a her. It's only a man that can plan such. Brother, good evening. Come back here. Where are you coming? Brother, I told you I was going to the hospital to see a friend. At me? When? Hey! Brother, you, you, I thought you heard when I said it. Am I deaf? When? I hope you are not going to say it's Ndidi. Because Ndidi was here earlier today. Brother, and it is not the only friend I have now. Oh, I just want to believe that you are still not seeing that vagabond. If he knew what he means to me, 
You will not be calling him names. I will scream. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I don't touch me. Look at this little girl. to feed my princess. My princess, you do not have to reject the food. All we're doing is for the good of Umo Balanri. And we're happy that you're part of this good fight. Whoever you people are, you might as well go ahead and kill me right now because my father would never dance to your tunes. The gods forbid we shed blood. Um, you need to eat. You need to stay healthy. The king has to meet you in good health. As for as for what you just said, it is part of the test on your father's love that you just embarked on. If he eventually gives up everything for your sake, then it means he truly loves you. I'm sure you understand this perfectly well. So now it's time to eat. Like I said earlier, you need to stay alive. And you need to thank the king for giving up everything for your sake. Who gave this to you? Your Majesty, someone I have not seen before. The, the thing is meant for you, sir. The letter is meant for you, sir. Someone you have not seen before. Are you daft? Someone you have not seen before gave you something and you brought it into the palace? At a time like this? I'm, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. At this trying time? Take that thing out of the palace and open it and find out what is inside now! Yes, Your Majesty. What kind of guards do we have? I don't know. I, I have bad feelings about that letter. I don't know. I'm, I'm... <sighs> it could be a letter bomb or something. Look at what I saw, Majesty. Prince, huh? find out what that is. Huh? Find out what that is! Not her virgin blood, but blood from her cold finger. What? Look at that finger! Patricia, you don't have to do this. I mean, where are you going to? Anywhere I can find peace of mind. Ugo, can't you see this environment is no longer healthy for me? Won't you stay and fight for your love anymore? Mr. French is in a police cell. Won't you go and see him? You can mock me all you want. I just realized how stupid I have been. See, Ugo, if a man does not want you, no matter how hard you try, he will never want you. Especially when another woman is in the picture. Just look at the trouble you would have landed me in. Do you think I ever wish to return back to the prison? I'm glad you've come back to your senses. But you don't have to go, my dear friend. You have to forget about him and move on with your life. Now that it has been confirmed, the kidnappers are after the throne. 
I believe you're safe. Hugo, please. I don't want to stay anywhere close to Mr. French. He can go ahead and marry the princess. That's if she returns back alive. As for me, I am going somewhere where nobody knows me to start my life afresh. <laughs> Since your mind is already made up, I wish you well. I believe life can still offer you another chance to love and be loved in return. Amen. As if my life depends on loving a man. Good job. It's like you are good, my brother. How? How do you mean? Half past ten, and you're still here. Or will you go back home? Or do you want to spend the night here with us? Biko, hmm? Biko, kwa. Allow me to savor the victory. I still can't believe that finally we're succeeding in this. Hey, hmm. Oh, sweetheart, I've always told you that failure is nowhere close to my dictionary, haven't I? I have not only seen you. But I have believed. Mm -hmm. Baby, the news is everywhere that the king is now a wreck. <laughs> you see that stunt of sending an evidence of the princess's cut off finger? Mm -hmm. Totally shattered him and broke their resistance. Hey, what? Is one of the stunts up my sleeve? Sweetheart, no brain as I do. <laughs> But wait, how are you guys able to do that? Simple, very simple. Provide a gory picture of blood, write something that goes with it, and then the picture speaks more loud than words. That's all. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi! You are a deadly strategist. You can say that again. Baby, you will make a good king go. Hey! Well, if you say so. But if they give it to me, I will in turn give it to you. Because I don't need it for any reason. <laughs> you must be joking. A woman can be all things in Igbo land. Certainly not a king. Always remember that. So, back to what you were saying. Your Highness. This is a valid document, finally prepared by a competent lawyer. Everything is genuinely in place. Let us sign this document and save the princess. Who is the lawyer that prepared the document? And what is his interest? Your Highness, please do not concern yourself with that. I suggest you sign this document without delay, if for nothing else. It's abundantly clear that you are made to do this under duress. Once you have the princess back in the palace, we can file a case and begin the process of reversing it. Trust me, I shall personally handle that myself. Barrister. Yes. You know that all the families in Omoa Balanri have denied knowledge of the kidnap of the princess. But what I see is the hand of some powerful men of this land. How do I unmask? How do I unmask? How do I unmask them? Father, 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 listen, I, I, I think we have gone beyond that point. Oh, Barrister Science, all we need from you is to assure us that once you sign the document to save the princess, that you will invalidate it again. It is as I've already said. Agreed. These people are smart, yes, but not half as smart as I am. Let us do this. Let's do their bidding. Sign this document. Bring the princess back home. And leave the rest to me. You have my word. And the ones calling you, madam. I would not know. They hardly use the same number twice. My problem is that I cannot even trace the call. Because if I arrest the caller, they might simply kill the princess.
Hello. Forget those documents we sent to the palace. Don't sign it. We don't need it anymore. No, no. We're, we're here. We're here. All of us. The chiefs, myself. We're here. I'm, 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 I'm about to sign the document. Yes, I just need a few minutes to sign the dotted lines and to be sure that it is it is well signed. Please, but don't, don't, don't kill the princess. Do not waste your time with those papers. We don't need it anymore. And get your useless lawyers to start endless litigations tomorrow and sit your ass on that throne. What do you want me to do? Please, I have offered you people one million dollars and you rejected it. I have also agreed to sign the document you sent. And, and you are refusing me to sign it. What do you want me to do now? Please, don't, don't kill the princess now. Don't kill an innocent girl, please. I give you one hour to return the staff that empowers kings you know, to the chief priest. The same staff your family refused to surrender after the death of your father. If you fail to do so, I will start the process of killing your daughter slowly. Hello? Hello? Talking, speak. Oh no, what? oh no, mm. they have got me. How? Mm. They have finally got me. Oh no, the ancient sacred staff to the chief priest. He will never give it back to me again. Mm. Yes, he. He will simply begin to implement the 1980 succession agreement. I should have thought of this. I should have known this. Hey! The chief priest. The chief priest's hand is in this. You have refused to allow me to go see a seer to unmask what is happening. I have a feeling that this kidnapper is the son that he predicted that will rise. It is possible he is the one that will be remembered as a royal terminator. Imperial terminator, what, what are you saying? Is it to say that I am not going to be the king after my father? That should not be a problem to you now, my prince. It shouldn't be at all. Do not allow that to bother you. Soon we have the princess back in the palace and everything will fall into place. Yes. I know you're looking at me. Please. Let me go. I mean, how long will you keep me here? I haven't done anything to warrant this type of treatment. Please. Now listen, let me tell you something. Your grandfather was not a good man. The people of Umo Balanri managed him until death hoping that kingship will leave your family for another so our people will have a new lease of life but it never happened 
because when your grandfather died, your father connived with the compromised elders not to return the staff that empowers kings. What did he do? He made himself king and has continued to rule over us unjustly. Now, can you tell me what wrong have we done to deserve such evil act? Well, I can't see your face. But listening to you, I can tell you're a good person. Please let me go. My father will give you anything that you want. Money. In, in Naira, in dollars, he, he will give you enough money. Enough to take you to whatever part of the world you want to go. Hold on, let me shock you. Your father has already offered me a million dollars. Yes, to guarantee your freedom. Are you... Are you, are you, are you serious? Very serious. He made the offer. But I don't need the money. I want my people to be free from the grip evil family, your family, I want to have them wake up with the assurance that a noble man rules over them as king. Your father knows what to do and he has one hour to do so, else I will execute you in a manner I have already told him. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Good. Ever since you decided to continue ruling over your corrupt elders as king in this land in direct violation of the noble agreement of 1980 I have never seen you around my compound what are you finally doing here shouting don't pretend that you don't know what is happening take it Communicate with them any way you like and ask them to release my daughter. You will not be happy with what will happen to you and them if they don't release my daughter. No longer the staff that empowers kings in Umbuakolari. And then you over follows a process. Returning you also follows a process. As long as I remain the chief priest of Umbuakolari, I shall not allow abomination erupt in this land. Thank you. 
Is it not the same staff that I have returned to the chief priest's house? How did it get here? Hello. Hello. Your princess is tired. Crying, sobbing mildly on the background. Well, if you can listen very well, you can hear her cry. <laughs> you have 12 minutes left. But, but I have returned the staff as you instructed. I have returned it to the chief priest's house. Lies. Lies. Well, this is unfortunate. Because if you have returned the staff, they would have called me. Maybe, perhaps, it's because there are some issues here. What issue? Well, I took the staff to the chief priest's house as you instructed, only to get back to my house to find the same staff resting in its usual place in the palace. It's obvious you want to see what I would do. No! No, no, no! No! You shouldn't have returned the stuff to this house. The ideal place to have returned it is the shrine of our new Mopa Lambre. How should I have known? Oh no, how should I have known? I met him in his house, handed the shrine over to him. He should have told me instead of invoking the staff back to my house. Mm. Well, I think he's in the shrine because uh, I saw him going there. Okay. Let's believe the kidnapper will not harm the princess before. His informants go and tell him that uh, we have returned her. I mean, oh, we have returned this time. Let us hope so. Let us just hope so. I'm tired of all this. Tired! They should take their kingship. They should, they, should, they should take everything. I don't want. I don't want anymore. I can confirm to you that he already returned the staff. The chief priest sent for some men to come to the shrine and I do not know why. That's what you should try to find out. The king himself said he returned the staff and the staff returned back to him. I don't know what he's up to. Uh, uh, um, um, you know what? Um, do not do anything stupid over there, okay? I will take the risk of going to the shrine myself. And please, do not harm the princess. I returned the staff as demanded of me. When I got back to my palace, I met the same staff lying in its usual place. Tell me, what game are you playing? I remember I told you plainly that the manipulations of your family will not linger for so long. I told you that a son of this land will rise up one day and fight for the implementation of the succession agreement of 1980. I told you. And who is that useless son that has the audacity to cut the princess's finger? Is she part of the kingdom's politics? What's the matter with you? Did you see any maiden here? And that is because maidens elected on their homes not to come to our father's shrine. I never asked them. I never ordered them not to come here. This is Ani Umakbalari, the central deity 
that brings all of us together. It belongs to all of us, not the men alone. Now call those useless people you commissioned to kidnap my daughter. Tell them I have returned the staff and tell them to release my daughter. I don't know what you are talking about. I never commissioned anybody and I am asking you now to leave the shrine and wait for the new king that will take us out of the wood of this corruption. And who is this king? Who? There is a central palace in this kingdom in line with the agreement of 1980. From where all kings are supposed to discharge their duties as kings. You avoided the central palace. You continue to rule from your house because you are afraid of the gods of this land. I have started the healing process of all the evils you brought upon us. We shall all gather at the town hall to crown the new king. This might take days, weeks, or even months. In the interim, all the decisions of the king shall be made by the one that has the staff. And that is me. Why is all this happening now? Why are this happening now? The queen is no longer a queen. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It is not something peculiar to you. We are all affected. Was I not a prince? Now that the ancient staff has been returned, am I still the prince? Do you know what? Do you know that my husband almost hired assassins to go and do away with that chief priest? Are you serious? Oh, yes. Listen, my husband had already perfected plans to do away with that chief priest. Yes, but I had to plead with him not to do it. As far as I'm concerned, we were already royalty, so we didn't need to kill anyone. If I'd not advised him against it, by now that man would have been gone. All this nonsense will not be happening now. Just look at that. I am stunned to know that it got to this. I never wanted to thought that father could kill because of the throne. Let me tell you. I am the daughter of a fighter. And I know that men, I mean men, who find no power will do anything to have it. Yes. Why are you people provoking me? No, no, no. Just, why are you provoking me? I have returned the ancient staff even in your presence. And here I am waiting with my friends hoping that you will return my daughter as you promised. Why did you come back here? Why? For Why? Because you Why? resigned as the king is not enough. Yes. This man here, Mr. Ogona, is the secretary general to the town union. That you and all these corrupt elders in council on the mind of his leaders. Listen to me, Mr. Ogona. This is a new era in this land. And we have come to start setting the record straight. You said it's Mr. Ogonna. What do I have to do with you? Why did you bring him to my private residence? The news of your resignation have spread around the kingdom. Yes. And need us to tell you that our people are very glad. So, so, okay. I get it. You all have come here. You all have come here to mock me, right? On the contrary, we are here 
to demand for what is ours. What you have denied us all these years that you hijacked power and ruled us without fairness. What do you want? Kept records of all the revenues accruing to this kingdom throughout the period you served as Igwe. Kidnapper or the person that found her and brought her home? My name is Mr. Bond, son of late Chief Bojikwe. Here with me is Perpetual, daughter of the land, and the great Okereke's family. We brought your daughter back, the princess. As you can see, she's well taken care of. You were. You were the one that I commend you for returning their shen stuff. You are jacked from the people. That was a very wise thing to do. And for the kidnap, it was a game. It was a game we played. We played to savage the entire land. How dare you! Dare you show your face after all you've done? What we did, we did for our people that have been marginalized by your father and these elders. And today marks the end of it all. As you can see, the princess isn't harmed in any way. So we mean well. This. This marks the beginning. This marks the beginning and the end of all of you. You are liars, everybody. These people brought us what we've long for long years, and that makes them a hero. And if your plan is to address them, you better shell the idea. This house and all this fleet of cars that you have there will go up in flames if the police or even one constable gets to address these people. Yes. Yes. You lied. You lied! I'm 
Give out your sister to, <laughs> to our guy finally. <laughs> I said I'm so so excited. Thank you very much. Um, uncle, as my uncle and the elder of this family, it is your right to give perpetual hand in marriage. So proceed. Exactly. <laughs> perpetual. It is a very special day. A man of this land has fulfilled the traditional rights to make you his wife. And as our tradition demands, you have to take this cup and show us the man that you have accepted willingly as your husband so that we can celebrate. Oh, 
too heavy to bear. No one saw this coming. Must you go with them? My love, I don't have a choice. You don't want to leave me. After all we've been together, you want to leave me just like that? Please, don't make this any harder than it is already. I beg you. Please, don't leave me now. Please stay with me. Let's get married. Let's build our future together. Please. If I were to change my mind, I would have done that a long time ago. After all that has happened to my father on account of me, it makes sense that I obey him now. He needs me now, more than anything. Baby, please. I, I know, but please. Please. Please, my love. If we're meant to be together. Fate. Fate will bring us back together. But for now, my father needs me. Please don't go. Please. He is indeed a good man, but the thoughts of what my father did are too much for me. I went too far to prove his love for me. I must be with my father now. He needs me now more than ever. As we have come to the end of the sanctification period, as approved by the gods, we are here to start the process of implementing the succession agreement of 1980. When the gods are silent, it should not be misinterpreted to mean that they are asleep. No, the gods do not sleep. They only allow us to exhibit a low understanding of the things of the spirit. Always, at the appropriate time, they'll make all things all right. Logan, come forward. Thank you. 
by the direction of the gods and the ancestors of Omokwalari, I hereby crown you the next king of this kingdom. You shall be known as Ezudo the first of this kingdom. This is a new dawn, and we have been challenged to leadership. I pray today that the spirit of our ancestors that has led us this far will take us to a place of peace and prosperity. At that point when all the elders in council decided to keep quiet and allow the king to deceive our people, you chose the path to honor by telling us the truth. So, in recognition to this noble act, I name you the Onobu that will rule with me. Onobu! Oh, <laughs> As I've said earlier on, we are in a new dawn. And together, we shall take Umu Akwarani to greater heights. Umu Akwarani Kwedo! Yeah! Umu Akwarani Kwedo! Yeah! Umu So